What is the difference between the M6 and the M8 by Mobapad? So a little while ago, we got sent the M6 Gemini by Mobapad to review. I really loved it. Like you can go and watch that dedicated review on the channel. But then sometime later, Mobapad decided to send us the M8. Now they were a little bit vague with their description because I thought it was gonna be a totally different model, like a minute tweak to the M6 because I mean, the, the number's different, right? You got the, the six and then the eight. I kind of thought it would be like a newer version or something. So we got sent that. We didn't get any information about it whatsoever other than like the specs. Now specs wise I was thinking well they're pretty much exactly the same right and we have them just here. Now I did a first look at the M8 and I said in that video well they seem pretty similar like they almost look identical they've got pretty much exactly the same specs well they have the exact same specs they've got mechanical switches in all of the face buttons and the shoulder buttons and the bumpers they've got you know normal membrane switches everywhere else they've got a d-pad they've got japanese alps joysticks they've got macro functions they've got back paddles with macro functions on both of them you know then they've got turbo they've got rumble settings they've got six axis gyro they can only be used like on the switch itself and that's it and well that's pretty much it oh and they do have exchangeable like face plates as well so if i pull this one off you can actually take these off and it comes with black ones if you buy the white versions and if you buy the black versions well then you get white face plates and they just slide on like that and they both have exactly the same thing the only major difference really is the fact that the boxes well this is the m6 and as you can see, it's got Chinese all over it. There is some English, but it's it's mainly Chinese. And of course you've got like a cardboard box right here, right? And then the M8, well, when I got it, I was like, oh, okay, it's all in English. Like everything's in English with the random cover, even though it's not very random, but you know, every, everything's in English. And I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I really like that. They're clearly targeting, you know, like the Western market right here, rather than just the Chinese market. Because when we actually reached out to Mobapad initially, they said that we were the first people from the Western world to directly contact them as the manufacturer, right? So not going through like a distributor or anything like that. We, we actually contacted Mobapad directly and they were like you're the first people ever and as a small channel that that was awesome you know that was that was great so uh yeah th there we go and then they obviously sent the m8 now i finally know the difference because i said in my first look of the m8 well i probably won't bother doing a review of the m8 because they look exactly the same as the m6 and i've already done a detailed in-depth review of the m6 right so what's the point doing the same thing again yeah so this video happened instead because i finally have the answers i've been using both for ages now i cannot see any difference i've had a sneak peek under the covers i removed the screws i sadly didn't film it but they're identical everything is exactly the same and then finally after like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks mobapad finally replied to our email of well what's the difference like is there any key features here that are different and they said no they're exactly the same <laughs> so, so the m6 and the m8 are exactly the same thing but the big difference is like i said well the m6 gemini is marketed to Asia and China, essentially. It's, it's aimed at a Chinese market. This is not really meant to be global and it's not really meant to come over to the Western world because it's all in Chinese and we have no way of like understanding it, yeah? So this, the M6, is for the Chinese and Asian market, whereas the M8 is marketed towards the rest of the world, the English speaking like countries. So it's not just England and America. I mean, this is just the global release because a lot of other countries, you know, they, they can understand English because sadly here as English people, we're pretty bad with languages and everyone else seems to know English. So they've marketed the M8 towards the rest of the world and the M6 is for the Chinese market. So I can finally lay to rest that there is no difference whatsoever. Now, I really think that they've just changed the number to dictate what like regions they're aiming at because I'm pretty sure someone commented on one of the videos previously saying that they had maybe an M9 or something like that and they were in a totally different continent and 
And again, that makes sense. There's probably different numbers depending on whereabouts in the world they're trying to aim this and market it towards. So the M8 and the M6 and any other M whatever that look exactly the same directly from Mobapad are going to be exactly the same. So I'm gonna be true to myself as what I said in the M8 first look. I will not be doing a full blown review on the M8 because I've already done it on the M6. So if you wanna go and see that video, well then go and click here and check out the detailed in-depth review of the M6 Gemini, which is exactly the same as the M8. So go and check that out if you want to know everything about it. They're brilliant. I really, really do like these controllers. So go and click that video and subscribe first. Subscribe.